Welcome back, folks, to another episode of Farm with Doctor, and thank you for stopping in, if it's your first time. Now, I found out, I did a little extra double-checking. I do have the right size big wrench to loosen the jam nut on my Wolfridge 28C Auto Cycle Prince Valves. I thought I didn't, leading up to the last video. So... That's going to be on the agenda for today. Get that adjusted while working on the last load for a six-face cord order. I got the rounds lined up. I got oak and elm. I think there's a big elm in there. So I'll, I'll know as soon as I split that open if it's elm or not. So let's get to doing the real adjustment on the auto cycle hopefully it takes effect this time unlike that my failed attempt earlier so i'm going to do an adjustment now see how it works once it's warmed up because i don't want to waste time if it works uh for the first <laughs> if it doesn't act up within the you know within 45 minutes i know it's adjusted properly so here we go now this is going to be a little tricky considering I don't have the room to work in uh, now if I had an extra hand see I'm gonna have to try to do it this way got the jam nut ready to go Okay, quarter turn counterclockwise. Should be about a quarter turn. Make sure I got this tight. Maybe switch hands here. Yeah, with these hoses, it's a little awkward. Uh, the reason why I'm doing it counterclockwise is because counterclockwise is for when it doesn't reach or uh, it sticks at full ex full stroke. One way or the other, it sticks. Okay, then I'll try. You're going this way, it sticks. It's bogging. Well, this one is not tripping, so you need to adjust it counterclockwise. Uh, same thing for the retract. Do the same adjustment. Now, if it's not going full stroke, if it's not going full stroke, you turn it in a quarter turn. Say this gets like two inches away, okay? Or it's tripping way too easy well you turn it in a quarter turn and then if the then the same for this if this is not tripping or I should say if it is tripping before it gets fully retracted something's going goofy then you have to uh, turn this one in a quarter turn or clockwise all right I got the little dust cap in my pocket because it looks like there's a little vent hole on the top of this so yeah, there we go that's adjusting the auto cycle we'll know within a half hour if it acts up or not so get the splitter fired up or warmed up so you can see if that works all right see if i'm mad enough to get this uh 13 horse engine started. Funny, how did I get 21 hours on this engine? I know I didn't do that much splitting. Easier 
starting than the brakes ever was on the old splitter. In case I didn't mention it, uh, well, if I did mention it again, 7 8 wrench for the jam nut, 5 8 wrench for the adjuster. So let's get the splitter revved up, it's warmed up, and get split and see if it works. Initially, it's going to work for the first, you know, 20 30 minutes, but we'll see after that.
there you have it, folks. Oh, there's my wrench. I was looking for the 5.8. It <laughs> disappeared somewhere. Uh, yeah, I got another face score for delivery. Hopefully, I got the auto cycle set now for good. Uh, I didn't show the full adjustment because this is, was uh, being a real, you know what, kind of even dinged up the uh, quarters of that adjuster because the two nuts decided to come together. Here's an upper and a lower. So the jam nut took the other one with it. So it's like I had to get them loosened up so I could uh, get the adjuster done. So I gave that a, another good whack. So far it turned out at least a full turn. So well, that's it folks for this one. I'm gonna go deliver this load. Till next time, take care, get out there, do something, have fun doing it.